Hi, my name is Julie Bear, and we're here at Meadowbrook Farm. I am a horticulturist here. I take care of the formal gardens around this historic house. And I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, history about the property and the Pennox who built Meadowbrook Farm. Uh, the house here was built in 1936 by Joseph Lydon Pennock and Alice Herkness Pennock. The property we have now is about seven and a half acres cultivated and 25 acres total. And the property was a gift from to the Pennocks from her father when they got married. So they built the house and then immediately started building, building the gardens behind the house. And after that, it just grew from there. They built the greenhouse in the 70s and that grew from there. And now we are part of the Pennsylvania Horticulture Society. The formal gardens behind the house at Meadowbrook are made up of these garden rooms. It's a series of rooms and when you move throughout them, the Pennocks kind of created them and they wanted you to feel a sense of discovery and exploration as you walk through the garden. So the garden rooms are made up of a series of hedges and evergreen shrubs and that makes the backdrop for all the beautiful plant material that we display. And Mr. Pennock and Mrs. Pennock really wanted this to be a lush garden all year long. So we, the use of different evergreens really provides that. And then in the summer and the spring when we're open, we fill the garden with thousands of annuals. Right now we're in the herb garden and we have some uh, bay laurel, some rosemary, topiaries that we bring into the greenhouse for the winter. And then we have some perennial herbs that we have here in the garden all year long. And we have a variety of scented geraniums, sage, winter savory, rosemary, lemon verbena. So this is one of my favorite places to be in the garden because it's very aromatic, it smells great. So here we are with a giant pot of mojito mint and we always grow this in the garden in honor of Mr. Pennock because he loved to drink mojitos and other beverages and he would always come out to the garden, get a little mint, put it in his drink. And we don't plant this in the ground because mint is very aggressive. So we put it in a big pot and it just does its thing and it smells great. Behind me we have the circle garden and beyond that is the pool garden. And you'll see that the garden is built on a linear axis. So when Mr. Pennock was designing the garden, he built it so that in each direction, wherever you look, there's something to draw your eye. And at the end of this vista, we have the pool house, and that is the focal point that draws your eye down there. And the columns that you actually see in the pool garden were a 1989 flower show exhibit. Mr. Pennock used to always do very elaborate flower show exhibits, and that's how he got involved with PHS in the first place. And a lot of the elements from past flower shows were repurposed as elements in the garden today. Well, thank you for joining us on this mini tour at the farm, and we hope to see you all visiting here in the garden when we reopen to the public on August 5th.